opportunity to get this 180 horse P-Pump benched and maxed out by Seth Farrell over at Farrell Diesel. And we wanted to do kind of an unbox and let you know what to expect if you go ahead and use his product. Now, right up front, we are not getting paid to do this. This is something that we are doing because we like what Seth has done with our other pump. So we wanted to show you what you could expect here. So first off, you can see that when Seth ships a pump out, he ships it out very well packaged. So if you're sending your pump into him, this might also be helpful to mimic kind of what he does to keep your pump safe to get it there, okay? So obviously he gives you some awesome stickers that you can throw on there as well as some business cards that you can use, keep handy in case you need to call them. And then he uses this wadded up kind of thick packing paper. So we're gonna unpack it here and he's got it in knots and he kind of sets this, he kind of gives it end caps to protect the front and back of it and then lays it at kind of a, an angle here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this end cap over here and then we're going to get this thing up out of the box. Okay, I'm going to pick that up and move that out of our way here. And we're going to set this down and then show you. So he sends it obviously wrapped up in this nice little bag. It's got a zip tie over here and this is to make sure that it's not leaking oil and getting you in trouble with the mail. We're going to go ahead and cut off the zip tie over here. We're going to get it out of its baggie. Now this is a pretty thick bag because obviously these things would try to tear out a normal bag pretty quickly. Okay, so like I said before, this is a 180 horse P-Pump. You can see it puking some oil there. That's exactly why it's bagged. So this is a 180 horse P-Pump off of a 97 motor. And this guy here, we had already had him rebuilt and then we decided to have him balanced. We had him balanced by a local shop and we just really weren't quite satisfied. They didn't go ahead and max it out like we had asked them. So we got tired of fooling around and we just wanted to go with somebody that would really get the job done. We've had another one of these done by Seth and he, he did a really good job for us. Okay, so we wanted to take a second there, come back from our pause and show you kind of what you can expect from a maxed out pump. And specifically what you can expect when you send your pump to Seth to be maxed out. So we're gonna start off with the AFC housing here. So he, he has a wealth of knowledge on this and so he goes ahead and he'll set your pre-boost screw and he'll set the rate of fueling so you can you know control exactly where your fueling is coming in at. Um, so he kind of sets that up, dials it in about where it should be. Most guys say that when Seth tunes a pump you really don't need to mess with it. So generally when we get a pump we go ahead and we stick it on. We're taking the AFC off here just to show you kind of what's going on. So the next thing in here, obviously you've got your fuel plate, which we had already modified, but Seth does something pretty cool here that our other guys that we've had bench pumps, they didn't do for us. He went in here and he scribed some marks and he sends you an email or he sends it in your, your uh, papers that you get with about how many cc's per each setting. So you can set it, you know, if you have a smaller turbo and you know that that one needs to be running, oh, let's say like 250 cc's, you'd probably knock it back uh, to maybe the third mark on here. So this is all the way forward and this is at full fuel, which is about a, 370 cc's. That's about what you can get out of a uh, 180 horse, you know, P-pump in terms of stock fuel, stock delivery valves. Now you start adding delivery valves and you can get, you know, 100 cc's over that.
But this is really cool because it gives you a way to kind of gauge, you know, if you like, you can try different settings for towing and that could give you something real easy to slide it back to, to know, hey, I'm going to tow on, you know, kind of scribe mark number two. So that's kind of cool that Seth does that. Obviously, um, so Seth goes in there and he tunes that stuff for you. Uh, he also has the ability to do Governor Springs. We had already done Governor Springs in this particular pump, but he did go ahead and adjust those, try to help out the idle qualities after he maxed it out and everything. The real secret to maxing and balancing is obviously in the calibration uh, up here of your barrels and delivery valves. So he went through using his, his setup, you know, for, for benching it, to check that these are all flowing about the same much and as close to their max flow volume as possible. So he keeps the flow rates the same between the cylinders and pushes it all the way to the upper limit of what they can do in terms of seat flow numbers. Now that's the secret that us guys, you know, if we're racking our barrels in the field, we're going to take these loose and, you know, we're going to tap them all forward to full fuel. But they may, each one of these is going to be a little different. There's a little bit different gap between all of these because not every single one of these is totally perfect. So sometimes guys rack them in the field and it comes out great. Sometimes guys, you know, rack their barrels in here and it can mess up your idle quality because one's pushing way more fuel than the other one. So that's some of the, those are some of the advantages of going with a professional pump tuner. With that said, we have used other local tuners in our area here in Georgia and we just didn't get the results that we wanted to. So we asked around to try to find out who does the best job and obviously Seth does a lot of pulling pumps and He's a big name in pulling, so we went ahead and we just sent it off to the best. He's very reasonable. With return shipping, this is about $305, which you really can't beat. We paid more than that for our local guy. Again, we're not getting paid to tell you this. This is just so that you guys out there that are working to build up your trucks, you don't have to suffer the same pain that we did, spending money where you don't need to. Go ahead and send it to somebody like Seth that knows what they're doing. And that way you won't have to make the same mistakes we've made in the past, which is have your pumps done several times to get them benched and maxed out the way you want. So thank you for watching. We hope that helped you out and gave you maybe a pointer if you're wondering where to go ahead and send your pump in. We highly recommend Seth over there at Feral Diesel. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section and we'll do our best to help you out. Thanks so much.